Hey yo, what's up guys? So I, I ain't been really uh, making too, too many videos here lately of this topic. But I'm going to tell you something, you know, you got to, you got to be careful. These, 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 these people who think that, oh man, there's no way that these college children are having revival. There, there's no preacher. How, how could you have a revival without the preacher? Because I'm going to tell you something, church. Hey man, it's done been prophesied by Kent Christmas a while back. He said that God said he wasn't going to, the one the revival comes, it ain't going to be because of a preacher. You see, when a revival comes, it's because of the pouring out of the Holy Ghost. Hey man, the Holy Ghost does the work. Hey man, the Holy Ghost will fall upon the person amen and we want to know what's happening in these revivals amen they ain't got to have these preachers up there behind the pulpits amen no a revival's coming because the holy ghost is showing up amen it's showing up in these colleges it's showing up in these tent services he's showing up and he is teaching touching people and he's showing them who he is god is showing them that i love you amen and, and people are humbly humbling themselves to god and they are worshiping God in the not in the flesh but in the spirit. Amen. See the problem today that a lot of churches today they pre they preach in the flesh, they worship in the flesh. But when you begin to get a hold of the Holy Ghost, Amen, allow the God, Amen, to work through you. You'll see many many things. You see in the book, Amen, about in the in, in Acts it said, "In the last days I shall pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and daughters will prophesy." Where's your sons and daughters at? Amen. Mine's only ten. But most of our children are in colleges. Amen. Where's the revival happening in colleges? Amen. Where are you least expected like Kent Christmas prophesied? Amen. In colleges. You don't expect a revival to break out in college, but it is. See, God's going to be doing things that you don't think that He's going to be able to do. Amen. Because He don't line up to what you think it should do. I'm going to tell you today, Jack, it ain't about what you think. It ain't about you. But it's about what God's going to do. Amen. In the last days, God God is going to be pouring out His Spirit. God is going to be moving in these days. And you better get out of your out of the way. Amen. If you call yourself a Christian, quit quit downing everything. Amen. If you don't think that it's right or you don't think it should do this way and you don't think it should do that way, well, maybe you need to just sit down, hush your mouth, and let God be God. You ain't God. You'll never be God. So quit acting like Him. Oh, somebody better preach today. Get out of the way and zip it. Zip it, zip it, zip, 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 and keep the mouth shut if you ain't got nothing good to say about these revivals. Because I'm telling you, it ain't your place to say there are of, they're of God or they're not. Just sit down, and watch. If they're of God, great things are coming.